welcome back to another mini let's play for those of you new to the channel these are basically mini let's plays of two to three series um, of new games that have been released i am proud to present uh, the crown wars of the black prince which uh, games planet has kindly given me a copy of thanks a lot for games planet uh, again they allow me to do reviews on games without influencing my opinion so that definitely is a great uh, way of collaborating with them if you are interested in the crown wars the black prince feel free to head over there is a link in the doobly-doo below where you even get a bit more of a discount they typically have the cheapest prices around so currently the game sits at uh, 30 ish dollars uh, the game itself uh, is uh, produced by nacon the guys who made uh, the werewolf game and it features in a medieval setting where knights and brigands run rampart throughout the uh, land sowing uh, sowing destruction but even a greater evil is lurking and plotting in the shadows at the helm of your domain lead the fight against the forces of evil in this turn-based tactics and strategy game it is a little bit like XCOM, but in a medieval setting so i have high hopes that this might be a banger of a game complete blind uh, playthrough you and i will experience it together so without further ado let's click play and uh, take a look at what we can do so for starters the game offers a squire knight or baron it is quite clear that we're going baron with this challenging mode you will need to quickly master various gameplay elements enemy statistics are increased and your companions die after receiving one wound okay cool on top of that uh, hero mode which uh, is the iron man mode sure uh, no problem that's the only way of how i play games uh, it needs to be meaningful so we learn right off the bat that defensive stance increases the reflexes but companions Many historians have recounted this war between france and england but not all facts have been told poitiers 1356 after fighting to complete exhaustion the king of france john ii is defeated the king of england's son the black prince takes him as a prisoner for more than 20 years, the royal houses have been fighting for the crown of the most powerful kingdom in the Occidental world. It was a war of chivalry, kings and princes. A war between families, rival houses and cousins. A war fought according to the conventions of feudalism. But with neither side willing to kneel to the other, the war became a costly endeavor, attracting the most bloodthirsty of mercenaries. And in the shadows, there were those who resorted to unspeakable methods, exploring mystical powers involving the occult. In the midst of this turmoil, with chaos reigning all round, a group of compassionate men and women gathered in secret to fight an insidious threat more horrifying than the war itself. Fabulous. That already looks very much like something that I would want to play. Companions who stay at the domain gradually regain hit points when what they have lost. Okay, so there seems to be a healing mechanic. Um, I assume our castle is a little bit like the XCOM main base. Thank you, my dear brothers and sisters, for having come from so far away. The Brotherhood is facing a formidable challenge in these troubling times. It's true. The King of France has been defeated and captured by the English. And we must continue to keep out of political matters. Of course, but that's not why the Council has gathered here today. What was that? See what's going on. Are we under attack? We must prepare for the worst. The Brotherhood's documents are of the utmost importance. We mustn't let anyone get hold of them. Good God, what's happening? Sire, we must leave right away. We are under heavy attack. 
We can't flee and leave our documents here. We should send a message to warn Nicholas. We can't risk being captured. My friends, the day we all feared has arrived. We must burn our documents. We cannot let ourselves be captured. You, go to the main gate. Organize the defense. We need to buy ourselves time. Very well. We'll meet again before God. Alright, the game They're is bloody. Here. Check. Start of battle. Each unit has one movement point and two action points. Moving consumes your movement points. So it's similar in that sense to uh, Gears Tactic, which uh, also had three action points. You can see one movement, two actions. That's a clever way of doing it. So we do have a fighting style champion. You unleash your zealous fury while this fighting style is selected. You gain more bonus to power. Okay, cool. Fighting style defender. Um, while this is selected, you gain a chance to inflict taunted on the enemies. Okay, so you can tank or just be a quote unquote arms warrior. We have uh, crusher. Crushes down, dealing 5 to 9 blunt damage and removing armor points. So that's Thunder Armor. Uh, Overwatch, get ready to attack the first one in your Overwatch area. That's, I think, uh, more for ranged characters. Defense stance, increasing reflexes, and then end our turn. Verdict, you strike down with your weapon, uh, chasing your target and deal 5 to 9 bludgeoning damage if you have uh, uh, taken damage during the turn. Uh, then okay so this is kind of revenge and heavy charge you charge ahead deal five to nine blood and damage to the first enemy on your way uh, also inflict prone all right listen that's exactly what we're going to do <laughs> oh hell yeah uh, okay nice nice fantastic blunt damage cutthroat died okay cool at your service julie uh Lorozon is at our service moves up oh 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 oh, oh. enemy archer oh. ouch shoots us in the back Okay, this is going to be a bit more troublesome. Nice, we got a dog. Oh, and the Beastmaster. Wow, this guy cleaved his skull nicely into half. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. We came from the western ramparts and attackers passed by. If the gate falls, we're done for. Nice. Yes. Okay, cool. So what else do we have? Uh, with him, we got Crippling Strike. Uh, you use your X to haul your target around to the face and to face you and deal slashing damage. Okay, that I think will be helpful when once we get rogues uh, that need backstab damage. You step with your dagger and can inflict poison. Okay. You and your beast fight together, dealing slashing damage. If the beast is within range, it attacks. Okay. You mark a target calling your falcon for support deal slashing damage if the attack successfully hits your falcon has a chance to inflict mark okay let's just try that for now ah can't do that immediately okay cool we're starting with the dog the dog seems uh, seems relatively straightforward moves up here since he doesn't trigger attacks of opportunity, let's maybe move him around here and bite him. <laughs> well, that's not a dog that is a 
Ravenous Beast. 26 hit points. And, okay, Magic command. This guy is strong. Okay, we can take movements in any turn that we like. Now the guy turns around, Ready which is great, because now we're letting the hammer uh, uh, drop. Let it rip. <laughs> oh yeah, attacks from behind. Can apparently convert the normal action yes. into a movement, which is cool. I like it. And we're ending the turn. Doggo and Beastmaster stay together. And our warrior, of course, moves with them. There we go, our archer arrived. Uh, okay. Nice, Plague Doctor and Archer. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, this is getting interesting. So, Fire Flask, you throw a Fire Flask, three to six fire damage, has a chance to inflict burning. Love it. How would that look like? Ooh, AOE. Okay, he's the AOE. Acid flask. Single target. Removes armor. Healing flask. Oh. Another healing flask. Oh, he's also the healer. And armor piercing. Fantastic. Then this guy is crowd control. Okay, this is my favorite class. I go on to record in saying that's the strongest class. Crowd control is always good. The only thing that this class doesn't have is shift action points, but that's the support of um, of the game. Lovely. Okay, throw a flask containing an unstable mix. Creates a fire surface. Throw its wooden uh, partial cover. <laughs> oh, cover removal on top of it. Nice. Are you kidding me? Grants an additional flask slot. Okay, well that That's one is service. pretty good. Okay, Caltrops. Oh, oh, that's good as well. Perfect shot. Gain bonus power proportional uh, to distance. I like it. And then headshot. Uh, do we have a cover system as well? Hell yeah, it wouldn't be XCOM if we didn't have a cover system okay good listen yes. listen carefully this is awesome i'm enjoying myself already yes at your sir ready when Moving you are up. doggo moves up as well and this is going to be a lot of fun okay archer service. Takes the high ground and full cover. I like it. Could do perfect shot there. Okay, cool. Uh, we block the ladder here. That way I assume they cannot move up. place of fire there we go all right two down Uh, 
Um, That's your command. Moves to here. Moves into cover. And kills this guy easy. At your service. One down. Perfect shot. Lovely. All right, I tell you, when you are. something else. We're going to here. We're testing the Overwatch feature because I like that. They won't get through. And Doggo does a bit of Overwatch as well. Okay, cool. So far, very positive experience. UI interface is clear. Abilities are decisive yet cool. Oh, you can climb on top of stuff. Interesting. Okay. Maybe when you are. Maybe when you are. Die. <laughs> Hop. And. Nice. Thank you. The council will destroy the documents. We must hold the main gate. Yes, the enemy's quickly gathering. I saw them from the rooftops. They're trying to force the gate open. We don't have much time. We must stop them here. They'll rue the day they attacked us. Forward! Has a little bit the feel with those four guys, uh, like vermin type. This guy feels a bit like an in, uh, Inquisitor. This is the Elf. Uh, this is um, the Knight. And this doesn't really, Maybe this is the Inquisitor, and this here is uh, the Witch. Anyways. Yes. Move to high ground. We gotta hold the gate. And holding, we shall. I can tell you. A little bit of uh, movement reduction is helpful. And whilst we're at it, that's one damage only. I think this is much better. Good hit. Fabulous. First time to use a consumable or interacting has no AP costs. Okay, that's cool. That's a kill. 70%. 100%. Okay. Doggo moves up. Continues to move up. And then... Nice detail. <laughs> the dog is vicious, man. Oh my god. Ready when you are. Love it. Standing into uh, in melee, does that influence anything? No, it does not. Oh, elevation plus 10, positioning plus 5, support plus 5. Okay, nice. There you go. Oh boy. The Beastmaster is the coolest animation so far.
Okay, I think this here might give us a an advantage, right? No, it does not, but it Any looks cool them? attacking from above. Oh yeah. Die. Indeed, die. There are still many enemies. Let's hope our brothers and sisters of the council had enough time. Regardless, we must continue until the very end if we must. Hell yeah. Tell me these guys sacrifice themselves just so that we can sacrifice us. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. But maybe it was just a lost uh, thing and we're not even part of that plot. It was just a tutorial. XCOM had a tutorial where um, where everybody died as well. And I, I think this is what happened here as well. Okay, so. who? yeah. Montverac. Uh, in Knowledge We Trust. Starts with one alchemist. Starts with reinforced crossbows. Balm, Antidote, Poison Grenade. Okay. Valencian starts with plus one Flayer, Reinforced Bow. Uh, uh, Larison starts with a Crusader, Reinforced Greatsword. Or with a Beastmaster. Oh, a bear of all of them. The Doggo was already bad. Oh, man. Customize your coat of arms. What shall we do, guys? What shall we do? All of them look interesting. I like the alchemist. I also like the beastmaster. Just starting with an extra bear. All right, let's go with that bear. Do you want to choose the Igueres family? Important. This choice is permanent and will affect what battles you fight during your campaign. Uh, sure, I mean, I guess so. Let's go. A family affair. The head of your family dies a sudden and violent death, while France, in its defeat, plunges into civil war. With your family ruined, fate forces you to flee your lands and wander the roads in exile. But don't lose hope. I'm offering you a new start, a small and secluded domain within the kingdom. For now, you need only know that I was a friend of the head of your family, and my name is Nicholas. Very good. So, welcome to the domain. There are four types of resources to improve the domain. Gold, leather, metal, and wood. Okay, gold. Metal, leather, wood. Fair enough. Master craftsman, and we do have two squads. Uh, okay, let's take, uh, let's explore our goods. You earn 150 gold from our, uh, from the domain. Um... The Great Hall. Plan your future battles via the map of France. Here you can also customize your coat of arms and the information about the story of your deceased companions. So. Very good. Let's look at the codex. Got a couple of cutscenes here and the history behind the story. Historical note, the most important detail is to understand the medieval conflict, that it was well above the conflict between families and royal di dynasties. Whether one spoke of the French side or English side or the Navarrese side, each time was questions of asserting the rights of King Jean of Villoch or, or King Edward III um, or King Charles of Navarre. Therefore, 
uh, we would uh, find men and women of all nationalities on each side, bloodlines and feudal uh, loyalties given by oath were fundamental to the medieval society. I like it that it is grounded into ac uh, in actual story and that they um, start showing that. No one has died so far. And Iguaras. Okay, so let's see how we want uh, to look like. I like kind of a double colored banner. I like that. It's not bad. What can we choose the f uh, colors? Yes. Okay, so we're Beastmasters, right? Which means red and uh, white. What do you guys, uh, guys think? Or red and black? Ah, it needs to be green because we come from the forest. Okay. So something akin of that. Okay, that looks very, very good. Coat of arms in medieval times, by the way, uh, is a fantastic uh, research in itself. Uh, I think we're going to go with uh, something along uh, side of that dragon slayer. Or, oh, yeah. This is very similar to the Isle of Man uh, um, uh, coat. I like it. Oh, no, no, no. We're not using a pattern. I would want to get something resembling kind of a mystical uh, creature. I think the tripod isn't bad. This here is cool as well uh, for a hunter dynasty. Oh, a hydra. Oh, yeah, the hydra. Okay, we got it, boys. We got it. Good. We got our coat of arms. That is important. Can't just run around like random schmucks. And click on the pawn to open the panel that provides the details. It will take you squads a certain number of days to reach uh, a battle. Once you have sent a squad out, you can't cancel the decision. Uh, you can uh, send up to two squads simultaneously, but the limit increases once you upgrade the Great Hall. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, before we do anything, uh, let's first of all take a look at our guys, barracks. So, what are we even talking about? Recruit, manage and customize companions. So, we got Godfrey here. Godfrey is an alchemist. Main weapon. Um, reduced movement but m more steady damage I like it um, deadly aim death from above spectacular shot okay so what do we have piercing shot uh, that allows uh, cover removal. I think having a class that can uh, remove cover is good. And if we don't move as far, we will get bonus to accuracy. That's not bad. And having rooted is great. Okay, I'd, I, I'd say we're just going with that as a main weapon. Consumables. Um, wait a second. That's good. Burning or bleeding? I think bleeding might be a little bit more common. Uh, got a, got some heal and got some bleeding. I, by the way, have no idea whether or not bleeding is more common. I'm just making sh up at the moment. You can choose two flasks from the following. Fire uh, flask, acid flask, poison flask, or healing flask. Okay. Um... Where do I choose them? Oh, there we go. Um, so if he already has a healing flask, then let's put the salve on them so that they can remove all status effects. That's good. One healing. Five flasks were pretty uh, nice. AOE poison or AOE fire. I think we're going with AOE fire. That uh, worked out very well. 
Maybe we're just going double healing, but we have no other AoE. Okay, so Godfrey, uh, very nice. What's this here, by the way? Random uh, people? Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So we have two alchemists. I see. I see how it is. Uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So we have the alchemists covered. Uh, do they have specific uh, traits or are they just carbon copies? So there, yeah, they are carbon copies. There is no, uh, there's no uh, randomization. 11 out of 12. Just out of curiosity. Could I rename these guys? Can I customize Gottfried? Appearance? Can. Cool, we can put a couple of pouches there. I like it. And given that you guys are going to be sort of the healers, I... Oh, look at that. You can even give them armor uh, pellets. Oh, that's not too bad. Very good, cool. So you might think I'm a little bit uh, overly dramatic with, uh, oh, you can, nice. You can even give them war paint. Oh yeah, that's not bad, man. I like it, but to be fair, uh, you're a little bit more uh, in the back. Bloody weapon? Oh, it's not bad either. It's a bit over the top on the crossbow, but that looks good. Oh, wow, you can... Nice, we can uh, give them the Hydra symbol, right? Oh, yeah. Representing our coat of arms, man. Nice. White coat of arms, I like it. And color palette, green. Let's take something along the lines of this green here. Darker metal. Okay, I gotta say, Oh, that's really impressive just how well you can customize the appearance uh, for the uh, for the game uh, let's look at the beast hunters and I'll uh, fast forward on the ap appearance uh, piece but I still want to double check what what's up so they get consumables the question is are they ranged or melee characters they still have their uh, oh, these guys have a bear Damn it. I'm overly excited. This is fantastic. Okay. So, the one with the dog. We got open vein. Uh, you slash the target. Chance to inflict bleeding. And turn the enemies around. I think that's not bad. Perform stealth attack. Inflicts bleeding, very good. Second skill gets higher critical chance. If skill has been used before this one, the tech triggers the second time. Okay, daggers seem to be kind of multi-attack. I like it, which means you can build the Beastmaster into a rogue, but also into a semi-tank because we could uh, equip kind of the shield, right? But no, uh, he's supposed to be a damage dealer. I like that idea. Ah, oh. damn it! We 
can even uh, Rufus. I like it. Rufus is a good boy. A very good boy. And you can even uh, train. Guys, I think I need to play this game uh, as a full uh, as a full let's play. This is really good. I'm starting to fall in love with uh, what they've done here. Good. Double dagger. And the dog. Can't customize the dog, but that's okay. Um, given uh, that he is a frontline, a frontline rogue type of character, uh, we need to color code him. Good, listen. Just like the ranger um, in XCOM, I choose red for these guys. I just somehow think that the white fur makes it even more badass looking. Look at the black daggers. This guy is a absolute legend. Lovely. Good. And by the way, this game is also perfect uh, for uh, viewer-based characters. So if you want to be drafted, now is the time to leave a comment down below. If I do a full uh, run, then uh, you will uh, be drafted. Fantastic. So, a bomb uh, for uh, the... You know what? Let's wait with a bomb. Shackles. So, we can either dual wield or... We're putting a little bit more of a ranged appeal onto this whole uh, thing. I like the idea of a ranged character plus a bear. That is very, very attractive. Okay, so um, is there anything else I can customize? Not yet. Don't need the shackles on her, but I think I can. How about a polar bear? Oh, no way we can have a polar bear. Different fur types. He's called Polarius. No clue how he survives in medieval Europe, but doesn't matter. Could be an albino. Look at that. Badass, isn't it? All right, N. Then we got Wilbert here. Good old Wilby. Uh, we have tried everything with the exception of axe and shield, maybe. Kind of an off-tank type of um, setup. He gets the shackles. And... Ah, uh, this time going with a really black bear. Hmm. Ah, oh, that looks good. Okay, cool. All right, another one ready for the meat grinder. Let me just double check the Crusader. What kind of weapons can we give them? Crusader can either go with a great sword, right? Mighty slash, deals damage, destabilizes, removes armor point, um, targets a single unit, gains bonus accuracy, and AOE damage. So that isn't bad. Then we have the hammer which was uh, better him down, prone. Oh, wow, hammers seem to be crazy when it comes to damage. Double damage against non-armor targets. Uh, Halberds. Opportunity and overwatch attacks have the chance to inflict rooted. Okay, hold the line. Um, while regaining one armor point previously lost. Okay. 
Second step, all units within the area of effect. And ignore three armor. Halberds seem to be interesting as well. And then we got maces. Halberds have range two. Halberds have range two. Okay. So Crusaders, again, an interesting uh, play style. So for starters, we cannot equip anything with them. Um, the sword seems to be kind of an all-rounder. I would like to test out halberds. Okay, you cannot, uh, you can, you don't have a secondary uh, weapon, so you need to really choose your weapon. We're going with halberds. It's okay. And given that these guys are the tanks, uh, let's give them some blue color. Good, there we go. Look at that. White coat of arms. Lovely. The other one, I would like to actually make a tank. Uh, sh uh, sword and board. Or what's the difference? M mace. Uh, raise your mace. Encourage those around you. I like it. Shoulder to shoulder. And presence inspires your allies and gr grants resilience uh, within uh, the area of effect. Enemies uh, suffer weakened. And what is this here? Okay. Prepare for incoming attacks. Positioning bonus is doubled and two attacks in quick succession that deal damage and yeah we're going with a mace that seems good still can't take any bomb but that's okay and all we need to do here is get the appearance fixed very good even got uh, the logo on his shield uh, that's what i'm talking about and then finally we got like what what is this here the the archers and what's this class Duelist, okay, and what is this class? That's the archer. I see. Okay, let's start with the archers because I do have a fairly good understanding what they could do. So for starters, we're going with a bow. That makes sense. And a bomb, and that's pretty much it, I suppose. Very good. Uh, just like snipers, I think uh, they are well served uh, to be to be running around in white, white feathers, white everything. Good, straight up archer. Why would you not equip your bow, my man? You are an archer, and you should behave as such. Good, we got two archers down, and then we got a final class called the Duelist, uh, which I think is the two weapon, uh, uh, the dual uh, wielding guy. Uh, no bomb for you, but the question is, what kind of weapons are we giving you? Uh, they do have two sets of weapons. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so how about daggers is uh, set number one, and how about sword and board is set number two? That seems legit. That seems very legit. Okay, I like it. Uh, which just brings us to the question, uh, what kind of 
what kind of color are we giving you? I think we don't have yellow yet. Um, clearly this is not a grenadier, but might as well do that. Turned out to be a little bit more golden than I would have wanted. But still, very good. Okay, we got all of the appearances fixed and there are only those four classes, which means we have exactly 10 people. Cool. That took longer than expected, but boy, that was fun. Uh, next upgrade by upgrading the barracks you can recruit higher level companions okay fair enough uh, let's first of all double check what the options are laboratory chapel market barracks and the map of France well it seems quite clear that we need to go into a battle and that is what we shall do. Eradicating vermin. Can we do something else? Potentially not. Rewards are plenty. So let's send companions. Gottfried uh, goes um, for ranged. Whom are we taking as a frontliner? I think uh, our proper tank. Yep, that makes sense. Then N with her polar bear as ranged. I like that as well. And ah, that's triple range. That's uh, maybe pushing it a bit too far. That looks like a decent team to me, man. Cool. So just like the XCOM uh, mm, screen. You can equip everybody. Can we get another? Can I do another battle? Other than just the eradication? Surely I can do another battle, right? No, it's just that. All right, pastime. You see the little army moving there. Okay. Well, let's start the battle. Remember, no quarter. All right, our turn. Let's go. So, what are we doing? What does that mean? We're not yet uh, visible to them. At your command. It would be interesting. Uh, okay. So there is such a thing as a concealment phase. At your command. Yes. I won't disappoint you. Good. Our tank. Of course you won't disappoint. Moves to here. We cannot charge anyway, so might as well just stay there. I don't know if the enemy moves or not, but being in cover seems like a good idea <laughs> the bear is hugging the wall that's funny a 
at your command. Yes. Um. Just like in XCOM, you can customize where and how your people are moving. I won't disappoint you. Okay, just end turn. We're good. And just like in XCOM, if you're already in cover, you're not being scouted out, uh, spotted out. Good. Beastmaster moves over here. Full cover really makes it hard to hit this guy. Ah. He has two armor, so we might want to reduce that. But first, we're introducing the bear. Bear scratches and deals slashing damage. That's more like it. Let's go. Oh yeah, baby. Keep going. Enemy dodged. Fair enough. Ignore those two armor points. I won't disappoint you. Um, At your command. Moves to here. Very good. Um, it removes one armor point. Let's use Defender as a fighting style, because Even. we want to tank him. Very good. Yes. Does that work without provoking attacks of opportunity? Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, it does. Fantastic. Yes. Moves over, just letting this guy stand there by themselves three to six shaving him and he's potentially poisoned very good ready when you are I'm ready Dealing fire damage, healing, theoretically, yeah, we're, ah, oh, yeah, we're just armor piercing him down. Nice, good job. And our focus fire worked out nicely. Ready when you are. Cool. So that's one down. End the turn. Double move. Oh, he shoots us whilst uh, he's in combat with a bear. That seems uh, mm, strange. Bear continues to f uh, ferociously attack.
we're going for flanking play here. Minimum damage, that's not great. Moves down. Die. And there we go. Okay, in the meantime, you move to here and start shipping away at this ar at the armor. My at the same time, yours. you're going behind his back. I'll be quick to finish. Oh, good hit. Bear moves up. The bear is surprisingly agile for polar bear. At your service. Four extra points, okay. Thank you. Let's heal you up. I won't disappoint you. And I think this is a matter of God guides my hand. Yes. Just striking them down. Just warming up. Are you Ready bleeding? When you are. How would I see that? How would I see that we're bleeding? Bleeding. One more round. Very well. Yes. Bless you. Good. We're moving to high ground again. As we've successfully taken this first camp for us. Polarius leads the charge. At your service. Yes. And we got three of them down. Apparently, we regain concealment, as you can see. Ready when you are. It's an interesting mechanic. Yes. Yes. And if you're not automatically spotted out like we had been the last time, uh, I think that you can do a lot with that concealment. Archer here, a couple of other folks over there. Tank moves in. Moves in even further. Right by his side is our melee DPS rogue. I think Polarius is going to flank. Seems like Have the appropriate service. thing to do for a bear. And oh, we 
we got another we got another archer Probably. up there okay So we want to make sure that we kind of get to this guy in one way or the other. How do they spot us? We're beyond. Never mind. Never mind. So you can't sneak your way all the way up to them. All right. So we have been spotted out. Apparently, it's not like a true concealment. Oh no! Oh no! That was a misclick. What the actual hell? Okay, well, let's uh, see how well you can do even when misclicking. These guys are going to be... Uh, these guys are going to be plenty My busy. So, Duelist uh, moves uh, to over here. No, moves actually over to here. Because there we have a little bit more cover. Nice little serrated dirk in the back. And Shiv poisons them. Fantastic. That's good. Yes. Tank moves up. Taunts, hits, and the archer should be dead, uh, yes. just based. Simply based on the poisoning. Beastmaster moves over here. Nice little shot in the open. Good hit. And keep it going. Brawler takes some damage, but not that much. Bear moves up. Ferociously hits the guy and... Nah, I think we'll, we'll continue. Oh yeah, six points of damage. Nice, the bear is just awesome. Okay. Well, the archer up here will be a problem. You can already see that. Poison gets the guy down. And we're standing in the open, so that sucks. Bear is in trouble. At your command. We very easily traverse distance. These guys are minutes. super fast. 14 critical hit. Yes, baby. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Let that be a lesson for you. That would provoke attacks of opportunity. Can't let that happen. Yes. Uh, that would service. be armor piercing, but I can tell you what's even better than armor piercing. Armor. Damn right, removing armor. And we do that with our mace. May justice be served. Pawns him off. That's great. There we go. No more armor. Bear. Claws. And... That's one down. Nice little fiery flask. Sets them on fire, which is good. 
bear continues to do bear, bear things. We have barely scratched the surface of uh, the jokes. Nice hit. Die. Fantastic. Okay, I, I'm good. my boy fabulous that was a fun little first adventure and i see siege weapons here that's great all right experience all of them gained a level so apparently it doesn't matter who kills someone level two reached so apothecary can now either get questionable signs you throw a foul smelling concoction that has the chance to inflict a weakened on units or flask of uh, pitch enhanced uh, through alchemical research, which creates a large surface of uh, pitch on impact. So it's those unit within the surface area. Okay. I like the slowing idea. That seems very legit although weakening isn't bad either what does that here mean ah they gain experience with a certain weapon okay cool look at that okay uh, he could be inquisitor you strike down with your blunt we weapon. Uh, or you mock an enemy within range and force them to fight you. Uh, yeah, that is going to be what we're going to do. For our hunter. The archer worked relatively well. You and your beast uh, fight together as one piercing damage or you take a target while calling your falcon for support yeah might as well take that for now uh, the trainer isn't bad but i'm not sure if that works uh, well with a bow And with him, Weapon Master, you strike and make expert use of your weapon. Piercing damage inflicts a debuff uh, based on the weapon. Bleeding, weakened, or prone. You exploit your target's weakness, increasing your critical uh, chance. And you ignore... Oh yeah, that, that is an easy one. He's going to be the damage dealer. Back to our domain. We thought the plunderers came to take advantage of our situation for some easy pickings, but it seems otherwise. The wounded spoke of wild and bloodthirsty beasts that followed them locally. History could repeat itself. We should be careful. Okay. So. Companions who have fallen in battle need to recover from their wounds in rehabilitation. And that takes time and gold. Uh, okay, currently no one is in rehab. But that might also be because our companions are currently on their way back. What else can we do? Uh, we could upgrade to get better units. Ah, recruitment is open. 
I see. So we could get a level two um, tank, for instance. But currently, I don't think that we really need a lot. Okay, forge. Can we upgrade this uh, forge? No, we cannot. Grand Hall, level one. Adds an additional companion slot to a squad. You can send out. The, okay, okay. How do we upgrade that? Oh, well, that would be a squad upgrade. That is super good. Okay, apparently we can't upgrade it yet, unless I'm missing something. Hmm. Complete the assassination to unlock the forge. Complete the skirmish to unlock the laboratory. Okay. Good, we're upgrading the chapel for now. And we can't do that because we don't have enough wood. Unfortunate. Can't upgrade prison. Can't do anything. I could upgrade the barracks, but what does that what does that do? High level companion and increase the maximum number of companions you can accommodate in the domain. Okay. Well, at the moment we are at 11 out of 12, so I suppose we need to upgrade that soon-ish. Okay, uh, this is a good time for us to call it a day. First impression, I will definitely do a part 2 on this mini Let's Play. If you want to be drafted for a full run, leave a comment down below. If you like the game, leave a comment down below, and if you want to do me a solid... Uh, at least click the affiliate uh, link and visit the guys at Games Plan. You don't need to buy anything, uh, but it would be great to, uh, to get some traffic onto their page as a little thank you for them sponsoring this. Thanks a lot. Have a good one and see you soon. Bye bye.